Hey there everybody and welcome back to episode 26 of the Artifact Sect. I'm Icon and we're going to try to get some more advanced laws today. Let's see what we can do about that. Beyond that, we're also gathering some festive goods, but uh, that loot is not satisfying me too much. But what can I do? Ochre Essence. Ochre Essence. Is that, is that a thing we want to have? I mean, well, sure, it'll be better than the stuff we had before. Why not? Uh, here. It's the third one, though, by now. What is it? Okay. Wonderful. Beyond that, there's, again, a couple of dumplings. And if we get lucky, we're going to get some nice, nice rewards out of that. All right. Meanwhile, Junju needs some more lifespan, you know? It's all fine and dandy, but she ain't got enough lifespan, in my opinion. So let's see what we can do today. Yeah, soil essence. I don't know if I actually need that much uh, spirit wood anymore, but let's try nevertheless. I mean, it won't hurt me either. So let's see. Harmony pill. That was only for tribulations, wasn't it? Morrow pill. 490 years. Seriously, all I got? Here we got eternity pills, but I'm not gonna feed her one of those. Ah, here we go. That's what I wanted to see. So, regen pills, one of my favorites if I want to feed a simple life gain onto somebody who's not too brilliant. Uh, we can also use the Vitata Elixir, can we? Yeah. Okay. But not right. I'll just keep in mind that I have a easily accessible 200 years available if I want to. Go forth, my dog. Taunt them. Give them false hope and false sense of easiness. Because you don't deal no damage at all. And the damage dealer will come. Alright. So, here we go. Let's check it out one more time. Always love to see my body cultivator in action. So, it's just two punch. Two punch man. Junju got a... Sub spirit, nice. Yeah, these dudes, they just don't have any chance whatsoever. They're just being annihilated. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> not a bad thing at all. So, dog is still looting these enemies or, or eating them, I have no clue. But I'm just fine. Ah, here, we can move them all at once. Okay, here we go. So, let's keep spamming those calculations and hope that we're going to find something good out of that. And let's see what that nose remolding brought us. This sound weird, talking about nose remolds on your body cultivator, almost like beauty surgery. Okay, but at least we got a few charges of that innate restoration skill there. So we would need blessed Feng Shui Essence to, to increase the chances there. Breathing efficiency gets increased there. So we, we're also going to explore what these other organs will do. Pretty, pretty curious about that. Hey, wonderful. That's pretty lucky. It's the third one. So, I don't know where I can check it out. Probably here. True Chi Consumption, 10.65. True Chi Recovery, 53. So, we're overachieving by a nice amount here. That's good. Ancient Book. At least she's good enough at doing this to achieve regular successes. 
Not every time, but often enough. What's C2 June doing? Not getting ahead. So he's already using cultivation speed bonus and mood bonus uh, thingies. We could feed him some sprout pills on top of that. I mean, could be something that would help us. Now well, let's keep spamming the competitions. As much as I don't like it, it's the best and most reliable way of getting your advanced laws rather quickly. Unless you have such a talented cultivator like I do here. Intelligence 2.2 is pretty pretty unlucky. What was that? Just a manifesting cave. No. Not interested. What's that? Gain Nimbus Essence. Okay. What's that? Alright, that's uh, Essence from the Beginning of Time. Wonderful. And we got a fresh Mandate. A Heaven Step Peak. Seriously. Couldn't it have been uh, even a little bit further away? Alright. So, do I want to send Yushi to... No, I don't. I just got an over there once. And the other two duties here are coming back home, too. Yushi's stats are very similar to those of my Metal Cultivator, so it's not that interesting to send him to the Mandates as well. Hey, maxed out. Awesome. So for now, I'll leave it with that. Let's see. I want to know what a, what a brain upgrade does for you. Forgive me, I'm curious. And I also want to know if it's a tempered brain. Right, it will be. It doesn't sound smart, but I didn't come up with that idea. Okay, that dude. Mr. Confused Stranger, we're going to help you for a moment here. And now remold your brain. Yes, it's tempered brain, just like I thought. We can also roll innate restoration on that. Good. Increases the max number of painful memories. Duration of Furious Berserk. Okay, that's truly not too interesting. Although, organ remolding cab. What's that? What's that? Total amount of upgrades? That would be insane, actually. But we're going to be okay with the, that extremely lucky roll there. No, let's remold an eye. Yeah, I'm that curious right now. So, Zhang is back home and Nyan Yun is back. Onward to that mandate you go, you lazy schlops. It's very important for me. I would also send Shodong, but he's that low. Equipping him with the proper gear would be making him a little bit faster, but seriously, only a little bit. This dude ain't a golden core, and that place is really, really far away. Tempered eyes. What the heck? So, what do we get? A global dodge bonus, a attack accuracy on all secret bodies? That's interesting, actually. Defense success rate of all secret bodies? Ooh. Actually quite neat. Upgrading your eyes is pretty useful. And also another point of innate restoration. I keep rolling that. I keep keep rolling that. So I wanted to check out. Okay, the, these skills do have a pretty pretty hefty impact. He was at 53 just a moment ago, and now he's at 59. Upgraded that like three or four times. So yeah, lots of return there. Nice. Okay, dude. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm if I should be really interested in increasing my true cheat cap. Not really sure what that would B 
be bringing me. But I want to do one thing now. So let's see. This is 63.75. I want to know how much bonus one turn of remolded eyes brings in terms of accuracy. Because accuracy is a pretty important stat as far as I've learned. And a lot of people said that bringing yourself up to 95% accuracy is very important. So pretty sure that if it would have been so good, all people would use the eye. But so yeah, it's uh, 0.2-ish, no, 0.02% per level of tempered eyes. That's in the long run, 2%. I would max it out all the way to 100. That's pretty, pretty rough. Okay, so the directional concord measure. What's this? Uh, is that a uh, offensive skill or a defensive skill? Nobody knows. The five element fists. That sounds like a... Like a offensive skill, but we already have. Let's see. Ah, that's why it showed me that the Baleful Bone was a selection worth taking. So, well, I could learn all that. Wouldn't be too much of an issue, actually. But we're going to start out with the Starboard Legs, honestly. Because that sounds like a defensive skill to me. If I'm wrong, well, let me see. So we're going to need a wood blessing for that. Don't I have wood essences here? Yes, I do. Wait a sec. I'm remolding bones where, while I'm not really needing it. Whoopsie. I am one step ahead of myself here. But the wood blessing is not necessary on the bones yet, but later? Yeah, okay, so it wasn't a waste at all. Good stuff. Okay, those body cultivators are a lot of fun. Especially while all your other people are on travels. There's always something to do with these people here. Okay, there goes Wood Blessing, and then goes the next one. Good thing that I have all these Wood Essences available. There we go. Yay! Let's see. I could take that as an offensive skill, too. All effects will commence with the secret bodies. So, okay, this is a buff slot. I'm still very, very inexperienced with these things, so if somebody could tell me what the third layer down there was, I'd be very grateful. I mean, it does sound like whatever I toss in there is going to buff my skills passively, so if I put a attack skill down there, it will increase my attack skills, but so many things in this game work differently than you would assume at the first glance. Okay. We can add in the wood, in wood essences, because, you know, it's <laughs> And I finally want to have a <clears throat> defensive thing going on on this uh, dude. Alright, so Heaven Stealing Law. We got that. Awesome. Alright. First attempt immediately gathered. Wonderful. It wouldn't have been already di that deep down in the year. Would have been good. Well, okay. Everybody goes around to Skydome Palace now and says hi. That's okay. I don't think we are losing that much. Oh, look at that. My fire cultivatress is finally at her next level. Took her long. 
I really didn't think that it would take that long in immortal mode, but it already took quite long in, in regular in the regular uh, difficulty level, so it's not like I am that particularly surprised. But that also means I got a second primordial spirit cultivator now. That's beautiful. I'm pretty sure that the wood blessing needs to be maxed out at the end of my journey. Yes, it does. So, attack accuracy, defense success chance, so it goes both ways. I wouldn't be too surprised if the skill would, uh, in the end, make sense in both directions. It seems like these secret bodies are quite often balanced in a way that you can use them either into the offense way or the defense way. Anywho. Let's see. We have to rearrange our cultivators now. So Nyanyun is now at the point where I feel like she's uh, she's just we don't need to let her cultivate any or anything anymore. I just wanted to have her at this level to teach her a thing or two. So she's actually at a really decent amount of maximum chi, like that. So, 100,000, that's not really much for somebody of her caliber. 713k, hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good amount for her at this point. Also, big shout out to the people who did the comments again. It's been very, very helpful. So, I had no clue about things like Central Plain, or no, which one was it? Here. Riverbank planes. New thing that I learned is when we use manual labor as a policy in these areas, we first off don't need to pay anything for them anymore. And also we get a regular event happening that allows us to gather up lots and lots of materials there. So. Thanks for showing me that trick. I had no clue about that. This also means we could use some more agencies in the long run. The more you know. Because basically, once you use these manual labor uh, chores more, you gain more uh, of, the, of the income there. So our income is also increased by farming stats. And beyond that, we can also get a uh, random event which yields a massive amount of wheat, for example, in this uh, scenario. Will be extremely useful as well. So I'm going to try that out and implement that strategy in my, in my upcoming runs. Thank you a lot for showing me that one. Now... Nyanyun is still going to City of Abundance. Uh, oh, no, I didn't... Uh, Duh. Totally forgot that I sent her to there to gather some materials for us. So Zhang will just uh, stay on pork duty for now. With these manual events, I should be also able to beat up my my sect better. At least that's something I hope for. Okay. So, yeah, without the, uh, oh, well, wait, wait, what, that was with the essences, okay. I want to say without the essences, the wood blessing skills don't come up that often. Okay, we're being attacked. As much as we, if we can't call it an attack, that is. They're sending noobs against us anymore, again. And same procedure as usual. With the only uh, difference now that we're starting to develop a defensive skill, which will ultimately allow me to ignore 
the use of my dog, or the help of my dog, I should rather say. Which is something I can't wait for, because, you know, it's all good, but it would be a lot easier if I would be not needing somebody who's tanking these guys first. Okay. Let's go for the root legs. Yeah, Wild South. I, I did fail Wild South a bit, I guess. Now. <clears throat> Sorry, Nyanyun. I messed up your inspiration gain. Merrick. One more time. And let's go for more derivative calculations, because, you know, it's nice that we got the Heaven Stealing Law now, but that's only a start. By the way, how much... Yeah, I just wanted to say the capacity of this place looks a little bit... Uh, a little bit too limited for what we got here, so... Let's add in a couple of extra manuals here. Keep being surprised about how much manual you can get in a small room like that. Okay. But at least my outers are very busy with the putting up those fields and like that. Now, more laws. Ugh. I said more laws, not more junk. Mandate. Mount Tiger Point. Thanks. It's exactly what I was looking for. And Mount Tiger Point, that horribly far away. It's also good. So, we can set Junju first off. And then, as soon as Nyan Yun is back home, we're going to see what she can do. Very important. It's very important for me at this point to finally get my Primordial Spirit users to a level where they can finally amp up the the base stats of my people. We're already pretty deep down in the game and it's about time. Alright, 800 grand. So we'll see what the next level of this one will do. Not too much as it seems. Okay, whatever. We need a lot more layers of tempered flesh and wood blessings. Why am I not surprised? I do like uh, how high the defense success skill uh, does increase with this technique. Yanyun is mentally unstable. Why aren't you uh, focusing on your uh, chill out then? Okay. Let's wait what uh, Junju does discover up there. I mean, sometimes you go all the way up there just to discover the same law that you already got. Parasit eyes. What the heck? Increased secret body success rate drastically. Yes, please. So yeah, my, my body cultivator has now eyes on his feet. I'm not making this up. This is exactly what this remold did. It's making the accuracy better. I don't, I don't question things in this game. Anymore. Jade Purity Immortal Law. Okay, Jinju was too... Was not worthy. Okay. Jade Purity Immortal Law is really good. This is one of them, one of them laws that you really want to have. Ugh, do I really want to send Yushi? No, I don't. Shodong? Only as a last resort. Okay, there's a lot of uh, stuff to do. Just hope that I'll roll some ancestral throwbacks on these. They're just basically the best role that I can hope for. After that, we have to check out if Junju or Nyan Yun has the better luck. But we have to smash the mandate, that is. I hope we can avoid. It 
Some of these purple skills are really weird and rare. Okay, she was too stupid as well. Invisible flesh. So, more success chance. Well, I, I don't want right now, because I want to check out what kind of uh, different... But no, it's really just those two. Okay. So I am actually quite uh, tempted. Now, let's do a thing for Shodong. I'm a little bit annoyed about the fact that he's that slow. So we're going to do some Spectre refining again. And I want to create some really good Talisman here. It's going to take a while anyways, but it doesn't matter. So we got June, and he's uh, pretty much... Oh, Zhang is another candidate for this one. Alright. Pretty sure that I won't be making it in time for Shodong, but, you know... Doesn't mean that I shouldn't try. Maybe, you know. Okay. Vitalized flesh. Nah, let's press a suppression chance. Dang. So June wasn't uh, worthy either. Let's see. Junju is done with that. Nope. E. Just want to create a godlike uh, travel talisman here. One more refining procedure. Can't wait for my cultivators to be finally that good that they can do this in one go. Can't tell you how. How much I can't uh, wait for it. Okay, let's go for this extra wood blessing, because I know I'll need it later. And now, well, the bones need the same treatment. I got enough wood essence there. That's good. Alright, Jinju can finally go for the last couple of refinements. And then, well, I'm, I'm somehow afraid that the dude here won't be traveling too far fast even with a tier 12 talisman but we're going to try it anyways there we go 200 no yeah 252 let's go i wonder how fast he'll be now well 1.4 days, that's okay for me. Better than before. It's, this is pretty much a time where I think it could be done. So, increases success rate by a small amount I need. Success rates are extremely important. And I'm pretty sure that I have... Yeah, I have the slots open. So Zhang is also not compatible. Too bad. Let's go for the wood blessing we need. Demonic pattern. Okay. Furious Berserk. We're racking up. The percentile chances here, so Cursed Feng Shui Essence would be what I need for the Steel Bones to happen more often, but there we go. Make one of them. And now Shodong is on his way. I'm, I'm really considering to send one of my Primordial Spirit Cultivators after him. But let's say first, Luck 5. 
Book 5. So they're both equally bad. Oh, that's sad. Oh, well. June is slowly making progress. It's, this does take a lot longer than I'm used to, honestly. Alright, let's go for the Steel Bone. And let's just hope that Shodong has the necessary stats for getting that. Oh, a Mystic Auction. I won't be doing bad. So, Wild South has a Earthquake. Wait a sec. We can't do Charity there. Can't do Charity somewhere else. I still have enough points there. So, let's do this like that. How long does Shodong still need? If uh, an entire day, how long will one of my people here need? Junju does need a little bit s slower than my fire person. Okay. Uh, it would be a big, big uh, step forward for our sect if we would get two laws today, especially the one that's on stake here is very interesting because it has a lot of baseline chi in it. And this is always a very, very good thing to find, but we'll see. So, let's see. 0.9 days. Jeez, he's so slow. Just afraid that the event will run uh, will will run out, or we're there. If it would be so, it would be so. Wow, that wood blessing skill has a really really minuscule impact. We're still at such a low percentile level. Okay, so we'll have to do. What we'll have to do. Do I have somebody with a luck? Do I have something with a luck boosting effect? There is an item which can do that. Oh, but it's, it's one of these pills, you know. Earthly pill. I know that there is one that does increase your luck too. I was wondering. Yeah, here. Prime or blessed pill. So you know what? We're, we're going to we're going to feed one to Yan Yun. I have no clue if this actually does work or not, but I'm very, very intent of uh, trying it out. So she's now under the influence of that stuff? Okay. Alrighty, friends, that sums it up for today. We're going to find out if that's going to be a success or not in the next episode. I thank you guys so much for watching. Drop me your comments down below. I'm always very, very great. As always, I'm very grateful for all your helpful stuff you're dropping there. And yeah, leave a thumbs up on that series if you enjoyed. And of course, check out the channel. Daily content popping up there. Just subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.